guys, today, as you can tell by the title, <clears throat> we're going to talk about something different. This is going to be a chatty video. If I have enough time at the end, I'll do a bag switch because I'm fixing switch bags. We're going to talk about giving plasma and why you should give plasma and um, what Daniel and I have been doing. And I'll say what we have been doing. We just started this. Yesterday was the first time we gave plasma. And this is the reason for all the, the protein bars and <coughs> everything protein. Sorry, I got choked on my lemon water. <laughs> That's the reason. They uh, want you to have be really hydrated and have lots of protein when you give plasma. Now, I'm going to read to you the reason why you should give plasma. And then we're going to talk about the benef the other benefits at the end. I am going to take my glasses off so I can read better. Alright. Benefits of giving plasma. Plasma is co commonly given to trauma, burn, and shock patients. As well as people with severe li liver disease or multiple clotting factor deficiencies. <clears throat> it helps boost the patient's blood volume, which can prevent shock and helps with blood clotting. What is the role of plasma in the blood? Plasma is composed of 90% water. <clears throat> plasma is a transporting medium for cells in a variety of substances vital to the human body. Plasma carries out a variety of functions in the body, including clotting blood, fighting diseases, and other functions. Now, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I got choked on that lemon water, and I'm like, ugh. <coughs> That's the reason you should give plasma, is because it's saving lives. Now, is giving plasma good for you? Plasma plays a critical role of maintaining a healthy blood pressure, blood volume, and a proper pH balance. Without plasma, our body would not be supplied <coughs> with many of the proteins that are necessary to support blood clotting and our immune system responses. Now, in order to give plasma, <clears throat> they want you to be healthy. Now, we all know I'm diabetic, <clears throat> but I don't, I don't do insulin. Because I don't do insulin and I'm just on a pill once a day, then it's okay. I mean, I'm good to give. <clears throat> so anyway, if you're on like thyroid pills or... Uh, I take the Uroth, Urothacin or whatever, Uroth, Urox, the level of the Roxin, okay. That's the generic of the level of the Roxin. I take that. <clears throat> so, if you take stuff like that, it's okay. You're good, you're good to go. Okay. <clears throat> the reason given plasma, saving lives. I mean, we all want to save lives. That's why a lot of people give blood, you know. Um. Now, there's more benefits to, to giving the plasma than just saving a life, <clears throat> which that should be enough. I mean, saving somebody's life is just major. But, now this varies from state to state, okay? Everybody's state don't give the same amount, but you get paid to give plasma. So, like Daniel and I went, <clears throat> and they give you, the first time is a three hour, three and a half hour. I think we were there four hours because they're computers get going down but it's really that your first visit is like a three three and a half hour process because they um you have to have a physical which all they do is just push on your stomach and stuff like that you don't have to take your clothes off none of that they do uh <clears throat> prick your finger for your iron and uh check your uh check your iron check your protein and do your blood pressure um <clears throat> It's a process. You have to read a lot of papers um, about the plasma, what it does, why you're doing it, um, and it also talks about HIV. If you have HIV, don't give, you know, of course. I mean, most of us would say, well, of course, and then there's some that probably would be stupid. <clears throat> so, three and a half hour process the first time, just the first day. And then after you go through that whole process, they take you back to the donor floor. Inside this room is the donor floor. It's just a big old floor with lots of recliners. And they hook you up, and I'm going to insert a picture right here. You just lay there, and the bottle, there's a bottle about like this. 
and it fills up with plasma. And what it does is it takes your blood out, machine separates it, spins the plasma into the bottle, and then when the bottle fills up, the plasma fills up, then they'll take the blood and put it back into you. Um, <clears throat> during that process, you will feel cold. I, I got chilled. I was like, ooh, kind of chilly. So take your jacket if you're going to do it. But <clears throat> here's what they pay where I'm at. The first time, they give you a uh, money card. And mine and Daniel's first time was $100, which he has his own card. I have mine. He got $100. I got $100. Um, that's our state <clears throat> where we're at. So varies by state. You just have to call and find out. So our first time is $100. Our second time is $100. The third time you go, they'll load up $125. And then the fourth and the fifth time, you'll get $150. Aren't loaded on your card. And then after that month is over, you will go back down to, okay, it's a hundred, I think it's a thousand and thousand and twelve, something like that a month for the first month. Then the second month here in Arkansas, where I give plasma, it's, it will be, therefore after that, it will be like 600 a month, <clears throat> which basically, I can't remember how it is by the, uh, by the week, but you'll get paid, you're supposed to donate twice a week, two times a week, and it's every other day. You can't do it back to back. Like me and Daniel did ours on Friday, we have to go back in on Sunday after church. Um, they're open seven days a week. So we'll get a hunt, we got a hundred yesterday, and we'll get a hundred on Sunday. <clears throat> and like I said, and then it goes back down, and it varies state to state. So you need to call them and ask them how it works. How much do you get paid? They'll tell you. You know, first time, blah, blah, fifth time, you get $150, or fourth and fifth time, you'll get $150, and then after your month is over of giving, then it'll go down, <clears throat> but it varies out. You'll get paid every time you go in. They'll load up your card, but it, it varies out here in Arkansas to $600 um, a month, plus, plus, you get... If you refer somebody to come in and do what you're doing, um, on the, their second visit of giving the plasma, they will load $100 on my card. If they put me down as referring them to come give plasma because they want, they're in need of plasma. They're in need of plasma, okay? So they, for every person I refer, I'll get $100 on their second visit. Because the second time, the first visit, they put it in the freezer. The second visit is when they put the first one and the second one together. It takes two to put them together. So you have to show up on that second before you ever get paid, you know, <clears throat> for your refers. And then they, they give us a, and it's in there in my purse. Where is it in my, oh, I've got my purse right here. They give you a <clears throat> passport to winning. And in this passport port, it has different things you can do. Like this one, donate two times in a week. Well, that's easy because you have to donate two times in a week. And then the other one says donate first week of the month. Well, Daniel and I probably can't do that one because we don't donate first week of the month. We donate the last week of the month. Um, <clears throat> bring a new donor to donate. Uh, like, share on a Facebook page. I think you get $20 for each one that you do. And they'll load it on your card when you have proof. Like the Facebook um, or like and share us on Facebook. I already did that. So I have to show them a picture that I like their thing and I'll get $20 loaded up on my card when I'm done giving my plasma. There's just all kinds of things. These are just little extra incentives that they give you to do. And and like I said, if you refer someone to come in and give plasma and they can't, not just one time, they have to come at least two times because the two times makes the one unit. You get $100. I mean, who doesn't want free money? It's tax free. You don't have to pay taxes on it because you're given to save lives. I'm game. I don't know about y'all, but, you know, times are hard and people need money. And personally, I need some spending money. Okay? Some extra spending money. I'm working on my YouTube channel because a lot of people say, well, I don't make money on YouTube and that's not what I'm on here for. Well, I am on here because I love new friends and I love doing YouTube. But do you think I don't want to make money on YouTube? Absolutely. Yes, I want to make money on YouTube. That's why I'm always asking you guys to please share my channel. Because the more people that subscribe to my channel, it goes up. And gradually, I will start making money. So I will do all the monetizations and all of that stuff so I can make money on YouTube. You know, these days you gotta make money wherever you can. Come in streams. 
you know, it, there's nothing wrong. I, I sell, I do my, my uh, Teespring. I sell t-shirts, coffee cups, whatever. Why do I do that? To make money. Why? We all need different streams of money. I've always heard all my life, don't just rely on one stream of money coming in. You need several. So, I sell my t-shirts on Daystream, my merch. I am working on my YouTube channel. I'm working on my Instagram channel, doing reels. Guys, do what you gotta do. And then this, this is an extra, it would be an extra 1200 for Daniel and myself, okay? Because I'm doing it, he's doing it. 600 for me a month, 600 for him, that's 1200 income more coming in our household. So, hey, what you can't do with that? You know what I'm saying? And, hey, Daniel had a little ordeal. He was thinking about not going back. Daniel has always had a fear of needles because when he got hurt on the job, they took a needle in his shoulder and just jammed it and was digging in. After that, he was like, I hate needles. I have a fear of them. I don't, I don't, Daniel don't ever go to the, he's, Daniel's 63 years old. And they asked him when he was given to give blood yesterday, they said to him, um, when's the last time you been to the doctor? and drew blood and my husband said never when well, then he said well probably 30 40 years ago when I got hurt on the job and that's a, and they were like what and he said yeah I don't go to the doctor and I said he's healthy as a horse he don't he don't take any kind of pills he don't you know he just has that little fear of needles when he first went back and then went to prick his finger that was his first first time to get stuck in years and he said I was just like oh and he said they pricked it and he said I didn't even feel it and I was like, oh, well, that's not so bad. And then the girl says, oh, wait, I didn't have a needle in it. <laughs> I couldn't help for laughing when he was telling us the story. I was like, oh, God, love him. She put the needle in it. And then he had to dread it again, and he, he felt it. Then when they got back there, the girl that did me just, she did good sticks. She just slid it in, bam, it was done. Same thing, Daniel. She slid it in his arm, bam, it was done, it was going. Her boss sent her on a break. And while she was on break, there was other girls, but they're kind of shorthanded and they were all busy. So, um, something happened that his blood, the, well, the machine, the machines kept going up and down and messing up. And the machine stopped and his blood wasn't going in. He kept saying, look, there's my, I don't have any numbers on here. There's it, Nothing's happening. And so, finally, I got one of the girls' attention. And I said, look, is this normal? And his blood was starting to coagulate. So they had to go to the other arm. And the other guy that come over there started to stick his arm when the girl come out that was originally did him. She said, get the needle out of his arm before you ever start to stick a needle in the other arm. Of course, my husband's laying there thinking, this was a mistake. Never again. This ain't happening. <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh out Thomas. I'm not laughing at you. This is just crazy. So anyway, they bandaged him up. They put a... The one that the blood started to coagulate, because that's why it wouldn't go through the thing, um, because it had sit too long, and the machine wasn't running. So they put an ice pack on him, and then they wrapped him, and then they went to this other arm. They're only supposed to stick you one time. One time. If they stick you, and they don't get blood, they still have to pay you the $100, which, I'm in Arkansas, we get $100. And that's not every, well, I say in Arkansas. The There's a plasma place down the street, and they don't pay as much as they do where I'm at. So you might want to call around in your area and see how many they are and then call around and ask them, you know, because you want to go where the most pay is. I mean, if you're going to do it, you might as well get paid for it. So anyway, they stuck him again, couldn't find it, and they were digging with that needle. And Daniel was like, oh, just get it out, just take it out, just take it out. So they took it out, wrapped him up again, and they said, oh, I promise it'll be different next time when you come back. And Daniel's like, I'm not coming back. And they said, oh, please, come back, come back. And they said, because if they stick you, if they put the needle in your arm, and they can't get anything out, they still have to pay you the $100 because you were stuck. So Daniel got his $100 loaded on his card because they not only stuck him one time, they stuck him twice. My son is the one who told us to do this because he's been doing it he said they only should have only stuck you one time they they shouldn't they're not supposed to really stick you twice if they can't get you the first time then they wrap you up until until you come back on the next day you're to give and of course you know if you're bruised they won't do it they'll move to the other arm that one arm is bruised because they jacked him up <sighs> there's a long story and that i'm trying to just get through it but anyway that's what happened to daniel but he's contemplating going back my brother said I told my brother, if you get referrals, remember, if you get a referral, someone comes in, they put your name down that you referred them, and they draw their blood, 
they get their hundred dollars and then when they come back the second time and they draw the pl plasma not blood they draw the plasma then um I get a hundred dollars for referring him so I told so my brother said it'll get easier because my brother has a thyroid problem like I do it's it's um, hereditary so he takes uh, medicine for his thyroid as I do and you get stuck a lot he's used to it I'm used to it Daniel was not used to it because the last time he ever got stuck was a bad experience so anyway, my brother's like, it'll be okay, it'll be okay, it'll get better, you know, it'll be better the second time. So he's contemplating it, don't know if he's going to do it, but hey, there's my story with Daniel. Me, I went in, she stuck me, and the machine started, and went right on through, blah, blah, blah. I was, I was done before they ever laid him in that bed. Well, I wasn't done, I like probably, it has to go up to 100, and I think I was on 78 when Daniel came in, the donor room on the donor floor to donate so I was almost done but me I just sailed through it so if you're not afraid of needles and you want some extra money call around to your local your local city and find out how much they're paying to give plasma it's really nothing to me it wasn't nothing Daniel it was an ordeal but that just happens um, it was it was good for me <laughs> I mean all I did was lay there watch my phone Actually, I wasn't watching my phone. I was watching what they did to Daniel because they laid him beside me. Um, free money. Who doesn't want 600 a month? Or even if it's, I don't know, I, again, I don't know what it is in your state. But extra money. You don't have to pay taxes on it. I don't know about y'all, but I'm game. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what y'all think. Um, if y'all do, look it up and let me know what y'all find out. Anyway, remember, keep God in it. You'll always win it. And... See you tomorrow. Bye, guys.